That hasn't been clean for a long That has time. got turkey mud in it, that one. <laughs> Look at that. Right, Mark Russell here with Dan on camera. Hello, Dan. Hello, uh, Rogue X. Rogue X. So this is the lighter, stronger, more offset, I'm thinking, on looks. But this is like super, super power bat from Callaway. We're trying them on the course. We're not going to do real ball data because I think you'll see the gist of these clubs as we play some holes of them. And I've got some other clubs to compare them to when it comes to the loss on these, which are in the realms of crazy. <laughs> Shall we, Dan? Let's do it. Let's get stuck in. Right, Dan's gonna kick us off. We're 420 yard par four around the corner and left. And we've only got four, six and wedge, I think, to play with. Okay. Um, first initial thoughts of the looks of that club, Dan. Put it down by the ball. Let's have a look what we got. Okay, uh, very chunky top line. Uh, I can see the back of it quite a lot on that one. Yeah. And that is offset. <laughs> Going left. So obviously you're not a fan of that offset. Why would that offset be helpful for others? Because uh, at the end of the day, a lot of players hit it a little bit left to right. Yeah. This offset's going to help that, help to counteract that little bit calm of fade, calm bit, that yeah. down a little bit. So in um, effect, by moving that hosel back, you've got more time, to, a fraction of a second, to get a little bit more rotation of the club yes, facing at the bottom. Absolutely. Yeah. And it might push it more up in the air. Yeah. But then to contradict that, what they do is they take the loss way down, which we'll come to in a second. Yeah. So this is 420, and we've only got a four iron. It's yeah. two four irons in theory, I guess. It should be, yeah, but it's... Um... There is a bit of snow on the ground, ladies and gents, because this is Devon, and we have not even got close to spring yet. <laughs> <laughs> even though the date suggests we are. <laughs> okay. That's a good hit, isn't it? Yeah. Drawing into the middle, you've not overturned that at yeah, all. Nice. Not a good. long way. Is it? How far up's that in relationship to the trees? Uh, it's probably about 30 yards short of the trees. But yeah, it's, it's good hit. Good hit. How'd it sound? It sounded quite nice actually. Yeah. It actually did. It was like got a bit of a thud sound, you know? So not too springy or pingy off the face? No, it wasn't too springy or pingy, which which Callaway have had that in the past, haven't they, with yeah, those yeah. power bats? But, yeah. but that was certainly a lot more of a solid feel. Um, we got that urethane back on it again, which is helping, I think, that, that sort of yeah, deaden that Yeah, that's their that the control sound, isn't Absolutely, it? yeah. So nice. Okay, how's it look? You see the back of the four iron, which I think will be nice for some. Yeah. It's almost got kind of like this double back, isn't it? Like a back and then a bit more. Yeah. Um, and it's got masses of bounce of offset and a nice thick top line. And obviously I use the word nice because I do think the people who will be wanting this club are going to kind of look at all that and see it as helpful. I'm looking at it and seeing it as kind of big and chunky. But there's a market out there who are going to want to see that, isn't there? Yeah, I agree, yeah. that go middle left it might be cut out on the second because that's not a driver but i've hit it by decent shot i might just have to shape the next one okay it felt fine and as four irons go you are not going to find an easier one with this and this is where i think these clubs come into their own when you get up this end when it's us style of players using them it's when we get down to those wedges and the six irons and eight irons those kind of things where they start to worry me um, but obviously combo sets is still very much an option as long as the lofts aren't too crazy we'll talk about lofts in a minute six iron loft then Dan on those kids guess what it is go on tell me 24 degrees 24 degrees <laughs> <laughs> oh it's turned into a snowflake <laughs> 24 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of loft. What loft is that equivalent to in the realms of reality? So if it's you go 30 degrees six iron as old school. Yeah. That's five iron loft. Yeah, it's five iron, but it's, it's getting close, it's close to, to four. four. I was going to say it's close to four iron loft. Mm. That is Dan. That is Dan measuring. That is me. So we are almost identical. Dan can't quite see the flag, but we'll only have to move it a little bit there. I have to move it blooming loads because I'm round there. Basically, it's kind of round here. Yeah, I I've got to move it. Now. This is where we want the offset. How far is it? 217 yards. Right, I've got a snap hook of four iron. Yeah, you do. To be honest with you now, 
I mean, I would be using, if you think about my set, so I use bladed irons. This I would be using rinky dinks, and so a, a 23 degree hybrid. So I'm loving the fact that this is chunky monkey and all those kind of things now. Do you see what I mean? Balls below my feet, I would be using the friendliness of the rinky dinks to get the shape. I wouldn't want to be using a four iron in my bladed set or my five iron. Definitely not. So this is where these clubs come back into their own a little bit. Yeah. I'm not sure I can move this enough with the ball below my feet. I've had a flashback to when I was a kid. This is obviously where I used to hit my driver when we used to play Basil Steerman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've gone back in time. Oh man, I remember having to do this as a kid. Oh, I've shanked it. That, ladies and gentlemen, that is right. As shank as you can get. How did that feel? 360 cup face shank. 217 Daniel son and you don't really need to hit much more than your normal drawing no. shot. It's the ball below your feet is the That's only... That's going to be the slight issue but with this offset I'm comfortable here. To be honest with you I could probably go under that tree, not a problem. Show me. Under it. Okay, is it drawing enough? 217. I have that is gone <laughs> a long way. So there he is, look. There's his little Healy Shank waving away, look. So I'm up on the green. He's taking the wedge of this set now, so uh, he's going to try and pitch one in. He's probably got about 80 yards into this hole. That's coming straight at us. And there he is. It's not a bad shot from the considering it's probably finished about 15 20 feet away very nice let's go and see where uh, where i've ended up shall we right dan 217 four iron which is pretty good i mean what was the loft of that four iron did you say 18 and a half degrees that four iron so that's the equivalent to my power hybrid it is yeah that is a, a very very de-lofted four iron yeah so it's done what it should do in theory yeah it's flown yeah it is flown you think of the look of it, I mean it's chunky and it's not, I wouldn't say it was pretty, but no, I actually, I've seen uglier. I was, was going to say, I've seen uglier, I don't think that's quite as, I was concerned that this was going to look really quite awful in considering yeah. compared to the forearm with the offset bit, Yeah, but that doesn't look too bad does it? Well, it just, was, yeah, I mean it's still, it, it looks pretty hideous compared to what we're used to, yeah, but, but I for, hear what you're saying. For, for a lot of golfers that's going to be confidence in yeah. that I think I think however it looks like an A-time yeah well, it probably is it? <laughs> the most shocking thing I've just realized is you're gonna have to use my custom shop oh yeah should we so give that you, a little test yeah <laughs> are you gonna add a little loft to this I've got I've got to add I've got to open this up yeah I've got to open this up I don't have much to play with so uh, good second shot though two four irons yeah, it shows it you the power lovely. of them it felt yeah. really nice okay can we get this up and down from here Wow. It's not bad, is That's it? It's nice, yeah. Come out quite nicely. Oh, God. I think you can have that, Dan. Thank you very much. I don't know why you've given me that. I just don't want you to touch my putter. You don't want me hitting this, do you? <laughs> I think I'm going to forget my putter more often. You give me more putts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I would say you got about 20 feet there. This to stay at all square. This to stay at all square. Second shot shank was the real issue there, wasn't it? Oh, it was. That, that is going in. One up, Dan. One up, Dan. Taking that. So right. What two clubs you got in your hand there, Dan? So we've got the pitching wedge of the Rogue X. Now, what was the uh, the um, loft of 41 that? degrees of loft. 41 degrees of loft. Yeah. To and then my A Tyne got... MB. I'm going to try out your A Tyne MB as well. Okay, two shots each. Nearest the pin, you get a point for each ball. Okay. Or a hole, like your one up, so you'll go back all square, all square. Yeah, or two up. Yeah, or three up. Or three up. What's the measured yardage you brought us in here? Yeah, 145. We got 145. 145 wind off the right. We're going to hit my A Tyne first. Yes. So this is an MB tight list 
eight iron to give anyone wants to look up lofts and whatever this is to give the comparison. A little bit clean. A little bit clean, but holding on here. Oh. Where is it? It's unfortunate, isn't it? Oh, it's stiff. Oh, it's unfortunate. You thinned it stiff. Yeah. It was quite thin. But <laughs> Wedge time then. I'm not sure you can get. I reckon the wedge actually is looking at that eight iron fin is probably about right, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think a nice struck one of these. It should be about right. Have you got a nice strike in you know, Dan? I haven't had one today, have we? <laughs> you would fin that stiff, you cheeky. <laughs> oh, oh, gonna go up, too Dan. up. Three up. Get up. Right, so right. you're gonna hit this normal hard, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna have to, I feel like I wanna hit this just a little bit harder. Yeah, maybe draw it in with a yeah, wind is more let like that, that sail it. Oh, he's over to, uh, that's missing the green, isn't it? Down. Where'd it land? That is. Oh, there it is, left by the bunker. Fractionally short of the other one, but yeah, just left by the trap. Oh, there's points on the board. <laughs> So what are you going with first? I'm going wedge first. Yeah? Because on the green wins, doesn't it? It does on this particular one, yeah. Ooh, look, you towed that last one as well. Is that your T-mark? Well, I'm going to hit the wedge first, aim at those right bunkers, draw a bit, and let the wind sail it in theory. Yeah, there's plenty of wind up there. And again, I always remember that with this hole, you can... It's more than you think often. That is drawing in quite nicely, isn't it? A little bit left. It's been left. It's on. That is on that front right corner there. Could have hit that harder. Yeah. Don't get confused by the one next to the pin, people. <laughs> right, eight iron. Yeah. So this is your eight iron. It looks considerably different. Oh, I'm trying to... I've got a feeling and I can't feel it. Right. What are you feeling? I'm just trying not to be so drawy. Okay. But obviously, that's not so good on this hole because you could just embrace it. But as I use these sessions for practice as well, I'm going to get a little kind of held up eight iron a bit. Okay, so it started pretty much up the flag and just turning over. Enough, but, I mean, they're the same distance, aren't they? Yeah. They're same distance, you're right. And I think this is the interesting thing which clubs from all manufacturers of this play on. Oh, I a wedge there, Jim. What do you hit? Yeah, absolutely. It, it's like, look at the loft. I wonder what the length. Half an inch in length. Yep. This pitching wedge is a nine iron stroke strong the nine iron. The trouble is in an ego-based game, this does really work in people's heads. Yeah. It's you're just twisting with what that means on the bottom basically really is all we're talking about kind of stuff isn't it yeah if you talk about tech tungsten in the bottom of this helping trying to maximize launches and those kind of things variable face 360 cut face design that we've seen in Callaway's for a long time the thing that i always struggle with if you've got so much tech why do you have to funk the lofts up so much obviously people say oh well they go too high is one of the ideas most people i teach who would be buying this kind of club don't hit it high enough. So taking lofts away from them, all the manufacturers do it. I don't quite get it. The thing that tricks is if you watch these reviews, you've got players like us with speed hitting them and we get the best out of these. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Because they do go too high for our speed. So I'm pleased they strengthen the loft, but then I'm not tricked by that. Yeah. Um, it's decent, but it is a power bat. I think you're, that's all square, isn't it? That's all square on this little bit, yeah. So you so stay one up? I'm still one up. With your little scabby thimbles. How do you feel about that? Thimbles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes, look. So that's the winning one up shot with the tight list. I and the bladed, there's mine at the front. Uh, I don't know if you can see, there's the top of Dan's wedge. And I think this was my wedge here, wasn't it? That's your wedge, yeah. So for that's me, the wedge and the eight iron went the same yardage, but a lot of that was to do with the fact that I drew one in and cut one up. Yeah, yeah. You're so I would say it's about half a club difference. 
I would agree. I would say that's more like a nine, nine and a half iron, should yeah. we say. But it's damn close to my eight, isn't it? It's very close. Frighteningly close. It is. Mm. Right, Dan has measured. We're yeah. about 172 out. That's a slope reading, but we are straight now into the wind. So I reckon it's a 180, 185 shot, and we're going to have a swipe with the six iron. So what's the score? You're one up. Am I still one up? Yeah. Can we talk about that? But yeah, after this we'll have a chat about that, bro. You've got a good record on this hole. Have I? You do. Yeah, because you see that wall on the I've left. Ever, I don't think I've ever hit the green here. You just look at that. Eh? You just I see, see water. I know, you see YouTube I know, splashes. I know why you've picked this hole. I didn't pick it. <laughs> He's pulled the six. How does the six iron look as a gaming club again? Yeah, it looks just like the four iron, to be honest. Yeah. Um, it probably is a four iron. Yeah, but basically is a four iron, isn't it? <laughs> it's five and a half iron. Uh, so the argument, again, is that these help people who struggle to get the ball up in the air, need yeah. as much help as possible. My discussion is how many of those people have the speed to manage those lofts? Yeah. And D-plane is always going to win. People who don't right. understand D-plane, which is lots of people, which I understand, it's a bit of a complex issue. I've got videos on it. Yeah. Basically, if you take loft off the club, it will just become harder to hit, harder yeah. to keep straight. So harder not to tilt the spin axis, which means harder not to shape, yeah. basically. Yeah. So it's too basic to think, oh, it's only a six iron, I can hit that straighter than a four iron. Not if you're presenting a four iron loft, it will perform the same, is it, in a nutshell. Again, a lot of my fittings, you know, I'm not even getting guys, a lot of the guys that, I, that, would, that would use a club like this, yeah. I'm not even fitting them into six irons anymore. No, They're you... stopping almost at seven yeah, irons, yeah, and then yeah. I'm getting some rescues to kind of match in a little yeah. bit, you know? Yeah. So... Which is a positive thing in well, like, lots of ways, maybe. Yeah, it is, you're right. Go on then, Rogue X. There isn't a big lake on the left hand, if you're wondering. I am going to cut this off that lake. Yeah, you've, done a lot. you've been playing with Lockie too yeah. long. I am cutting this off that lake. Your, be, your body will be an engine soon. Yeah, today is that day. Oh, he's finned it up the right. That has not cut off any lake. Why do I bet? <laughs> Is that just right of the green? It's a bit Short right of the green. as well, isn't it? Well, because I've hit it there. That's a bit toey, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. This hole really I do struggle to hit this green. <laughs> so, hit the green again. Or closer to the green than you. Or just a little bit closer. I am gonna hit a draw in here. Are you? Yeah, off this slope. Yeah. It's downhill light, it's that way, but that way as well. Yeah, it is, yeah. So I don't want to try and hold up against that. I'm just going to aim down the right where your ball is. Okay, and just let it turn. And hope it turns over. Yeah. I mean, it's like a bee stung X16, isn't it? It is, jazzed up. Well, like a wasp stung X16, like it's an X16, but it's just gone. Yeah, exploded. It's a stung iron. It is, I mean, it's... It's an X16, just been like gone to the gist. It's a Arnold Schwarzenegger X16, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right. Let's see if we can get it out of the middle of the bat. I didn't quite get there. That. It's that very one. cold to be hitting middle of bats, isn't it? Yeah. That's closer. Is that thin? Yeah, it's average. It's your kind of standard of strike. You know that kind of scuzz ball. You know. Yeah. Skank that away. is on the front edge, maybe just short, and what have you done? You've saved the day again. That is a skank. I've beaten you with your own skank. That is all square. <laughs> Let's just play this all every time. <laughs> I think you're over here a bit more, Dan. I am. Just cut it off the water a bit too much. <laughs> you, it had zero cut on it, that <laughs> shot. That's all square. It is all square. The title class is this is a home track for you. Oh, here we go. 
Here that's, we go. That's a winner there. Yeah, you claim it if you want. What? I think we should have a custom putt off. No, <laughs> you're not touching my putter. <laughs> you just desperately want to touch my putter. <laughs> so thoughts to finish on Rogue X? You couldn't game that and it's not no. meant to be aimed at you. No, it's not for me to be playing that club, but I can see the benefits of that club. Um, you know, I, th I think it's it, it, it's got, there's a market out there of people that want that little bit of help. Yeah. And I think it's going to give them a lot of confidence looking down at a club like that. Which I think is a good point, and I think that's the right message. My brain just says that club only exists because other companies and them have gone that way. Yeah, agree. And it's turned into a bit of a S fight about who can make the most launch monitor friendly yeah. club. At one point, one of the manufacturers is going to turn away from this, market it correctly, and all the others will follow. And I don't know who will be the first, but. It's got its place, but I would argue, or you could put a strong argument out there that this club doesn't need to exist. No, it doesn't. It doesn't need to exist. You don't need to turn a six iron into a four iron, because um, you're not, all you're doing is stamping it differently on the bottom. But what what you said is definitely a much friendlier, rounded way of saying it. But my emotions get the better of me, and I'm just yeah. I'm not sure about that. But what happens? You know, you got a 41 degree pitching wedge. What what is going on now down there? Yeah. You know? And we know this is low spinning, so you've got the same issue on when you get to the high and low bits of your clubs where you can't change the club and you're in a low spin option, you know, flyable. It's the same issues, yeah. but maybe amateurs just aren't looking at it that way and maybe they should a bit more and that might help them play a bit better. But Absolutely. I understand why this club exists yeah. and in the realms of this bracket of club, so every manufacturer making this kind of bracket of club, it's as good or as bad as any of them. Absolutely it is, yeah. You could end this video where Dan did his little roundup and then you'd probably be happy. <laughs> <laughs>